clozapine is the topic for this video and um, clozapine as mis many of you know is an atypical antipsychotic drug and it's used in the treatment of uh, psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia and most commonly and it can also be used um, uh, for bipolar disorder and um, clozapine on licensing exams is commonly tested um, with regard to uh, psychiatric uh, medical conditions but one of the key aspects of this drug is its side effect or one of the side effects and that side effect is very commonly tested and I'll write it out for you big long word agranulocytosis that's the side effect it doesn't occur very often but licensing exams in Canada and the United States every single one in fact that I've ever taken have tested this so it's a very high yield topic so before I get into agranulocytosis I think it's important to explain what does that actually mean and I think that's best explained by breaking down the components of blood because agranulocytosis is referring to uh, a certain specific blood cell so first uh, when you break down uh, blood you have the formed elements which are the cells and then you have the plasma and the plasma is you know the water um, electrolytes proteins things like that but we're interested in the cells so I'm gonna make that part uh, big so the three types of cells red blood cells white blood cells and platelets and the white blood cells are really what we're concerned with white blood cells there's two main types there's granular and then there's a granular and the granular ones are the ones that we are actually interested in there's neutrophils eosinophils and basophils I'll write out the words actually neutrophils eosinophils and basophils and the agranular uh, section involves uh, two uh, types uh, there's monocytes and uh, lymphocytes so what we're concerned with is this branch here right here agranulocytosis first let's just look at this part granulocytosis is referring to an increase in granulocytes so it would be these cells increased when you put a in front of it it means the opposite so like it's just the way medical terminology is for example the term a splenia means you don't have a spleen so that's what the a means um, in this case agranulocytosis is referring to a um, decrease in white blood cells and in particular the uh, class of white blood cells known as neutrophils so these ones right here now so you might say well why is that important it's such an obscure thing why would it be tested uh, and the reason is because white blood cells are very much involved as most of you know in fighting infection infection fighting cells so when you have a decrease in these white blood cells the patient is at very high risk of serious infection uh, during uh, due to their suppressed immune system so that's the reason why this side effect is so so important so let's uh, show a couple of clinical vignettes that will take you through this type of scenario a 35 year old male with a history of chronic paranoid schizophrenia is brought to his psychiatrist after failing courses of treatment with both haloperidol and olanzapine his psychiatrist would like to start him on clozapine 
Which of the following parameters should the psychiatrist monitor carefully? Well, it, the question is easy once you've just finished the <laughs> explanation. Um, as we talked about in this diagram, the side effect is agranulocytosis, which is essentially means a decrease in white blood cells, and in particular, the neutrophils. So this is detected on a, on a, on a lab test called a CBC, which is known as a complete blood count. Uh, the complete blood count will show you uh, how many white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, and all the components of the white blood cells, which include the neutrophils. And I don't even think uh, CBC is part of the answer choices, but white blood cells is, so they made it really straightforward for you. Uh, next question. A 32-year-old man with schizophrenia is brought to the hospital by his sister because he has become incoherent and locks himself in his room for days at a time. His family is concerned because he has tried many antipsychotic agents and none of them seem to have worked. During the exam, the patient stares at the wall and cannot seem to find the words to respond to questions. Physical exam is normal. He is placed on clozapine and scheduled for a visit to the clinic in one week. One week later, he arrives at the clinic for his appointment, which of the following is the most appropriate test at this time. Well, again, same kind of scenario. You would do a CBC, and that would show you the white blood cell count and should also show you the neutrophil count. And it would be uh, important to monitor this because in a small percentage of people who are taking clozapine, uh, they can develop the side effect known as agranulocytosis, which refers to a decreased or lowered white blood cell count, and in particular, a class of white blood cells known as neutrophils. So the answer here would be CBC.